So now let's see how we can work around with these two little tools right here. So one is the zoom option. The shortcut key is Z. So if I were to click on this, then what happens is that I got this zoom feature. I can click and then um, as much as I click, you can see that it zooms on onto a particular area. So by default, the zoom is in plus level. And if I were to click on minus, then what happens is that it zooms out right here. Over here on the top, you can fit it out so that it fits on onto uh, the default size. Or you can click on fill right here and it fills out the, uh, the screen which is available as you can see. You can also go around right here, click on 100% so it fits onto the 100% range. That is one pixel per the pixel you have on screen. So you can go around and then go to minus to zoom out plus to zoom in. So that's one way. Another way to navigate is by using the hand and pan tool. The shortcut key is spacebar. So if I were to, let's say, for example, uh, really go around, click and drag this. Right now, nothing happens because it's in the uh, zoom level. So I'm going to go around with the zoom level right here. And let's say I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to go to the hand now. And if I were to click and drag, you can see that without using the navigate or the uh, stroll mouse button right here, I can click and drag around with the mouse as if I'm uh, looking at a real a piece of paper. So you can go around right here, go to 100% fit and fill right here and use the hand tool right here. So these are the zoom tools as you see right here as well. So you can go around with the hand and then work around with the way you want. So that is how you can use the zoom and hand pan tool inside of Pixar E. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.